The week had been full of traffic jams, people coming and going all throughout my city. So when the weekend rolled around, I was happy to escape into nature. Birds chirping, water flowing, all the sounds that I love to hear. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna attempt to do some fly fishing again today. It's a typical kind of Calgary forecast. There's a 40% chance of shower. I mean, that's less than 50%, less than half, but I have a weird feeling it's gonna rain today. Gonna get out here and hopefully catch something. We'll see how we do. Let's get it. Sure enough, it decided to pour. The drops pelted me as I drifted my nymph along the seam line, waiting patiently in the rain. Downpour. I'm going to try and find some shelter. Then, as quick as it came, it left, revealing sunshine and an off-color murky river. Not the ideal conditions that I love for trout fishing. Wasn't exactly having the best luck. I figured I'd move places and try a little more. That's incredible. This is a nice fish. Oh, healthy rainbow. Holy shit. Yes! Oh, 
It's a beauty. Nice. Nice, healthy bow. Just trying to get the hook out. Jesus. Yes. Oh, sh Oh, hey. It's me, future editor Jade. I just wanted to break this down really briefly what happened here because after I watched it a couple times I realized that it's not the most clear from my GoPro point of view. So I was getting the hook out of the fish. I like to keep the fish in the water as much as possible to limit the amount of stress that I put on the fish because I'm always practicing catch and release fishing. As soon as I got that hook out the fish jumped out of my net and I mean Normally that would be all right. I would have just let it swim away, but it kind of foul hooked my other nymph. I'm, I was fishing a two nymph rig, so on my on my tag nymph, it pierced the fish. Next thing I know, it's taking my rod into the water. So I happened to just be able to kind of scoop it up with my net. If it would have just swam away, that would have been fine. Nine times out of 10, I don't even take a picture. So that's, just wanted to break that down, let you guys kind of know what's going on in this whole clip. Uh, anyways, let's get back to the video. You're a nice looking fish. That evening as I drove home, I reflected on the day. The sun, the rain, the crisp air breathing through my lungs. It had all been so surreal. And as night began to fall, I came to a conclusion. I was going back. That's no good. I made a new friend. Quinn was a young angler from British Columbia who had come to visit for a few days and see what it was a Great River had to offer. I could tell by the abundance of rods and fly tire material in his truck that he loved to fly fish. Just living in your truck, living the dream, brother. 
Dude. Fishing day and night. That's so sad. Uh, all the flesh. <laughs> oh, you got some dishes in there? Yeah, I got the dishes in <laughs> there. Dude, that's so cool. You saw it reach the surface? Yeah, it was almost like it was like an emerger bite. What? Like, just, like you, oh, I saw it was like it's back just come up and then back Dude. down. Dude. Wow. Go get it. <laughs> you got this. That's so fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. Throughout the day, the river had gotten higher and higher. The clarity of it continued to worsen. I figured if I were to have any luck, my best bet would be to try stripping a streamer. Spring runoff would not be long now. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Can't call it. Decent. Whoa! Go! <sighs> yes! Holy cow! It's decent. It's a bow. On the streamer, dog. Super nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Good fishing. <laughs> yeah. Man, I just got caught up in the gnarliest hailstorm. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I caught two fish in two days. <laughs> I know I'm I'm pretty horrible, but I have fun. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>